telling her that how dare she defy his authority to give the guy oxygen, that it's her fault that we diverted, just over the line yelling at this poor woman who volunteered to help. If she ever sees this, I hope she knows that she is a badass and that she is A plus in my book. And I wrote a novel of a report saying how that captain was over the line. Anyways, um, <laughs> we get to San Juan and I think, okay, <sighs> how much worse can this get? And mind you, I'm still running to the bathroom every five minutes the entire time this is happening. Like, I cannot stop. It just keeps going. Um... So we get to San Juan and we wait another hour for the company to call us and tell us what we are doing. Originally, we were just going to clear customs, get back on the airplane and take off. But in all of that time, the FAA has legalities on how long pilots can fly. Because it took so long to get off that aircraft, the pilots were no longer legal to fly. So they said, okay, we're just going to lay you over for the legal rest minimum which i think is 10 hours and then have you work the flight after that like whatever get me to the hotel i just need to be near a bathroom stat <laughs> another hour goes by and the company gets back to us and says hey guys there are no hotels in san juan no idea what's going on but they cannot accommodate all of us in one hotel in san juan and we're not really supposed to split up like that just because it you, know, you can imagine why anyways so they said, just kidding, we're actually going to deadhead you to Miami. So they have to pay 13 passengers off of all of these overbooked flights to Miami to say, sorry, uh, if your planes are flexible, we'll give you credits to fly at a later date because these people had to divert due to a death on board and now they have to go to Miami. I don't know what became of the passengers after that. I'm assuming that they flew in flight attendants from Miami and had them work the flight back to New York. At that point, I was kind of done. I get to Miami and I have the option to go home that evening or stay in the hotel. And I'm like, I just want to be near a toilet. <laughs> so I go, I do my little short layover and thankfully the next day it's all out of my system and I am fine. But that was by far the worst trip I have ever worked as a flight attendant. <laughs> 